Hey, what's going on, guys? Today I'm going to be playing some Castlevania, so let's get into it. This is a challenge that was put out there by the benevolent dick who's been pimping my ass out quite a bit lately. Thanks. Yeah, fucker. <laughs> But the challenge itself is called the Leather Belt Challenge, and what you're trying to do is play through Castlevania and never collect a whip upgrade. If you do accidentally collect one, you need to kill yourself to restart without it. So you're basically trying to see how far you can get with the crappiest weapon in the game. You also can't use sub-weapons. And dying doesn't really matter. You can die as much as you want, game over, continue, you know, it don't matter. The only thing stopping you from getting far is yourself. Now, if you do need some kind of goal to strive towards, uh, Benny got to the 13th stage and beat the shit out of Frankenstein first try, which was crazy. And I'm playing Bizarro Castlevania, where everything's cranked up to a million on the hard meter, so I'm going to hopefully get to Frankenstein, which instead of being stage 13 is going to be stage 31, but I don't know. This is probably going to be a total crapshoot, and you're definitely going to see me die. Like, definitely. It is going to happen. Backwards jump on accident. Haven't hit him. There we go. First blood. Oh, almost got a critical hit. It was close. Everything kills you in four hits in Bizarro Castlevania. So it's basically as if every single enemy has the damage amount that Dracula would deal to you. Regular enemies will do that. All the regular, well, the vast majority of the regular enemies are sped up as well. Like they'll move a lot faster. Some of the bosses move faster too. Like, I know the mummy does, and uh, I'm pretty damn sure Frankenstein and his little friend does too, which really sucks, but... It's really a crap shooting either of them anyway, like to try to beat Frankenstein. You've really got to get a decent pattern, either a decent pattern or really take your time and make every hit count and know where you're, you know, going and whatnot. So collecting wall meat's fine as well, so I am going to be doing that, definitely. Because I need as much health as possible on pretty much every single boss. Even Medusa's kind of hard if you can only get hit four times. And I can't do the bat boost because I need all my health. Which the bat boost is kind of risky too because that can sometimes drop an upgrade. Which will piss in your cornflakes real quick. Because this game really does not want you to have the small whip. Fucking everything will drop an upgrade. Kill an enemy, it'll drop an upgrade. Fucking hit a candle, it'll drop an upgrade. <sighs> fucking hit one of uh, Death Scythe and that'll drop an upgrade. These fucking snakes from Medusa drop upgrades. It's insane. This game really wants you leveled up. It's just trying to be good guy Castlevania. And 
no. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Doing okay. Doing okay. Oh. Now I got a bad habit that after like levels are over, I'll hold right. And I always fucking get hit because I'm holding right when this stage starts, but hold left. Don't hold right. One of the few stages where you start off going to the left. Maybe the only one. I don't know. And I kind of screwed myself. Yeah. That's fine. I kind of messed up what I was going to try to do anyway. Because I need the ghost off screen. Because the ghost is really fast and he'll fuck me over. And then I'll just deal with these guys. And then you got the earliest wall meet in any level, I think. I mean, it's so close to the beginning. Helpful in second quest, you know, Bizarro Castlevania, but not really necessary in the main quest. Yeah, I'm gonna kill these birds with the screen. Because I'm going to be semi-safe. Come on. Awesome. Like I said, you're going to see me die. <laughs> but that was just stupid. I should have got down on the ladder. Even if the crow would have hit me, it wouldn't have killed me at least. So I think I'll probably maybe game over on the next level or something. Because I want to have a lot of lives when I get to Frankenstein. Or Frankenstein's monster. You know, whatever. People call it fucking Frankenstein. It's fucking Frankenstein. Yeah, I don't think I waited long enough. This game's got some awesome music, though. Uh, really good gameplay, too, for such an early game. And Ninja Gaiden kind of borrowed a lot from this game. Because originally I wasn't sure which one came out first, but... This came out a good two years before Ninja Gaiden, at least on the Famicom disc system. Because there's a lot of similarities between them. One of the biggest, most glaring sim similarities is the big black bar at the top. That has your score, it has your hearts, which basically are Nimpo, which is the Ninja Gaiden counter for special stuff. You got your player and enemy life bars, you know, they switched it around a little bit, but it's definitely heavily inspired by this. I think playing it casually, this game's a lot easier than Ninja Gaiden, though. But if you're doing, uh, like, whip only, you know, if you're doing the real whip, not this tinky, little dinky piece of garbage, I would rather do sword only on Ninja Gaiden any day than whip only on this game, because whip only is fucking tough. Duff can be a bastard. Okay, now I'm gonna cheat on these mummies, but since they move faster than usual, they might actually be able to get out of it. Whoops. So I might play this kind of safe. If they get close to me, I'm going to jump back up. I haven't died on any of the bosses yet, I don't think, so that's kind of crazy. I 
really should just game over on this next stage to get an extra life, but I'm going to just go for it and see what happens. This is going really well, though. I was expecting it to go horribly. And I used to have major troubles with this level, but I eventually figured out the better way to do it. I could have just watched somebody else play, you know, Bizarro Castlevania to figure it out, but I figured it out myself. I'm going to put out my cigarette real quick because this part's rough and Frankenstein's really rough <sighs> grab a quick drink because these little munchkin dudes like almost never drop whip upgrades but the bats drop them quite often so I would rather just jump over the bats, which leaves me vulnerable to getting hit by birds. Yeah, getting gang raped by a bunch of midgets. Fuck my life. Come on, kill me. Thank you. Try that again. Now I only got two lives, so beating Frankenstein, yeah, I don't know. If I game over, I will retry it. But then if I game over, you know, twice, like if I get to Frankenstein and then I game over on purpose and get to Frankenstein again and game over on accident, yeah, I think that'll be it. Ain't died on a boss yet though, so hopefully I'll get some of that Benny luck. Fucking one-shot this bitch. Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't like it. I don't like it. All right, come on, Frank and fuck. Holy fucking shit! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> wow. Wow, first try too, man. That fucking Benny luck, dude. It worked. Jesus, that is awesome. Now, since this went <laughs> pretty well, I can't, I can't believe that this went as well as it did, you know. I'm gonna try to get to death. I'm definitely not gonna beat him because death is hard enough as he is, but wow, dude. I really can't believe I fucking beat Frankenstein. So after you beat that level in Frankenstein and whatever, the big thing from Bizarro Castlevania goes away. Like the spawning Medusa heads and bats don't really happen anymore. So the only thing you're left with is enemies that are sometimes faster than usual and everything kills you in four hits still. So if you're doing this with like a powered up whip and actually using sub weapons, the game's pretty easy from here on out. 
I'm not entirely sure if Dracula's faster. His second form might be. And I'm pretty sure Death's faster too. I know Frankenstein is and the Mummy is, but besides that, I'm not entirely sure. So getting to death should be absolutely no problem. Beating him is virtually impossible unless you're a god at this game. Like that fucking true false guy, man. I believe you. That dude could probably play it while jerking off and reading the morning paper. It's ridiculous. But if you play one game over and over again, like over and over and over and over, and that's all you play, then you're definitely eventually going to get really good at it, you know? Oh, whoops, I was not even paying attention. So I'm just going to damage boost to get to death, and hope that it works. Okay. Well, I made it to death, and I think this is a pretty good place to end it. I think the symbolism is pretty good, man. You can't fucking beat death, man. It just can't happen. So, let's see if I can get, like, one hit on him. Yep, there we go. I took him down by one health, man. That's pretty amazing right there. But, yeah, I'm just gonna let myself die, because even if I get go to death again, I'm not gonna be able to beat him. It just wouldn't happen, but... That was insanely good. I cannot believe, like, you know, I keep saying it, but seriously, I can't believe I freaking beat Frankenstein one try. I don't think I died on any of the bosses, so that was amazing. I couldn't have asked for anything better than that, so. Alright. Thanks for watching. Keep putting out challenges. They're pretty fun. You know, I hope more people get involved with this one. Because it's been like four or five days since he put it up and I haven't seen anybody else uh, respond to it. Because I'm doing this on Monday. So hopefully some other people do it. I don't recommend doing it in the second quest like I did. That's just stupid. But I wanted to spice it up and keep things interesting. So, Alright man. Y'all take it easy. Thanks for watching. Peace.